Hey, this is Greenbug Gaming here, and we're going to be taking a look at my base in Grounded. Welcome to Castle Greenbug. Just, just leave a comment, like, subscribe, do something. This is my castle I made in Grounded, a server I shared with two other people. Their stuff is over there to the left, just ignore their names. Uh, we don't need to look at those. But yeah, this is my castle. I used this for about 600 days in the game. Very proud of it. All right, let's go take a look. And my, all my walls in the castle are too wide. Gotta keep the bugs out. And then here's one of my ammo crates that supplies the turrets up above. Um, that turret's been destroyed. <laughs> don't, don't pay attention to that. I get attacked by mosquitoes frequently. Uh, here's the interior. Uh, there's my workshop on the left. And then on the right, um, I have a bunch of jerky racks drying food. And also on the right is a big mess I'm going to clean up real quick. Pay no mind to this. So I decided to make my castle directly above the Battletoads action figure. Obviously a little kid threw him into the yard. <laughs> and it's green, which goes perfectly with my logo. But yeah, I went ahead and made it so you can't fall into the water. That's the closest you can get right there. I redesigned it like three times, and that's the only... There's always one spot where you can almost fall in, but you never do. But yeah, uh, Battletoads, classic pop culture reference. And I actually just enjoyed the games as a kid. Yes, I'm old enough for that. But yeah, I went ahead and designed it around uh, him. Started with just, you know, the roof above him and the pillars, and then I ex kept expanding outward. Under here is where I keep all my storage materials, but, you know, there's not much right now because I used it all to repair after a mosquito attack. Here's a nice little staircase I made. It's not too fancy, but it's clean. I like it. And there's a nice view. All the lasers are activated. We are, we beat the game. And there's the zipline tower up there with my brood mother head. And here's a turret. Let's go kill it. Let's try to kill a gnat real quick. Oh, first try. Nice. Nice. That... Uh, was probably luck, but I'm going to say it's skill. Don't tell anyone. Uh, and here we go, interior tour. This is my trophy room, and I have a staircase going up. I kind of really like that design. Um, it's not done. Obviously, there's there's probably three or four armor sets missing. One of them, notably the moth set. Utility chest wall. All this utility stuff. Food, armor, weapons, ammo buffs. Um, I got my fridge set up over here. Black ox burgers and spider sliders. You don't need anything else. That's all you need. Got my cookery over here and all my storage underneath, all the bug stuff and all, everything I've crafted. And then got my minerals and everything I've gathered. Yeah, this is my workshop. I like it. It suited me well. All right, and over here we have my garden. Except for this guy right here. Oops, I don't have enough for that. Oh well. And yeah, um, let's go take a look upstairs at the bedroom real quick and then I'll show you the zipline tower. Yeah, my double wide bed. The, the bedroom isn't too fancy, you know, I just kind of stashed a few things here. And then over here I have a zipline that goes to uh, the research station across the pond. Because that was the one downside to the space is there's no research station really close. So I went ahead and made that zipline. And then here's my actual zipline tower. The design for this vertical zipline I'm going to show you here is made by see-through. Um, his name is Seether, S-E-E-T-H-R-E-W. He's a he's pretty cool YouTuber. I watched some of his videos. So definitely give him giving him some credit where credit's due. As we get up here, we'll be able to show you the uh, little lounge I have set up here for all the zip lines. You can pretty much get anywhere in the garden from up here on top of the zip line tower. It's got a very nice view. Really love this. This is uh, definitely the highlight of my build for sure is this uh, zip line tower. And there's a the little one over there. And then I got another zip line that goes to the brood mother for farming. And then one to pretty much everywhere else. There's one to the Black Widow, just over there, in the sandbox, upper yard with the coals are. Yeah, I mean, we got it all down here. We just chill. Go farm whatever we need, whenever we need it. It's great. Just chilling here for a second, relaxing, shooting some b-ball outside the school. Yeah, this is uh, my jerky rack room. Um, I had a lot more, but they've all been attacked by mosquitoes. I just haven't rebuilt them. All right, let's take this path here. And it just happened that the can lined up with the door. I was pretty frustrated when I first found that out. Yeah, a lot of people have like hundreds of sap catchers, but I, I think 30 is enough. I, I don't know exactly how many I have, but probably around 30. Yep, and there's the end of the zipline that goes to the research station in the tree. Really like how that turned out. And you can see my zipline tower from way over here. It looks really nice. Put a lot of work into that. It was so hard to build up that high with the center of it being hollow, you know, because I couldn't have platforms because of the way that the vertical zipline went. You know, like I, I could easily build like staircases inside of it to go all the way to the top, but it has to be completely hollow so that you can take the zipline all the way to the top. And building it that way is tough very tough oh dang it Wendell truly 
There's a mosquito in my base. We have to get it. Gonna ruin everything. Where is it? There it is. Blood sucking bastard. Come here. Come on. I'm gonna get you. Ah, watch out. Wendell truly. Get out of my way. Got him. Got him. All right. I definitely want to finish this trophy room. So if you guys want to see me finish that trophy room, go ahead and put a comment in there. Uh, say, yeah, finish the trophy room or I don't know, whatever, whatever you want to put in the comments. Just, just leave a comment, like, subscribe, do something. I'd really appreciate it. It definitely helps out the channel. Any kind of activity promotes, you know, the channel and the algorithm. That's about it for my base tour. Uh, this has been Greenbug Gaming. GG.